Hey guys, welcome back to another Cloudium Flamingo video. So in .NET 6, we're getting Blazor WebAssembly ahead of time compilation. And if you're thinking you're having a deja vu that you heard this last year, you did hear this last year. It was supposed to come out with .NET 5, but it got pushed to, to this year. Uh, basically what this does is it compiles your binaries beforehand instead of like the browser having to compile it as you run the application, which makes it faster for CPU intensive tasks. So you might be thinking, well, it's faster. I should just use it. And the answer is no. Uh, you should use it when it actually makes sense. So for example, in this example that they're doing image processing, that it's CPU intensive, it actually um, makes sense to, to use an ahead of time compilation. But if you're doing regular Blazor stuff, clicking buttons and stuff like that, it actually makes your binaries almost twice as big. So it actually makes your application slower to load. So it's something to keep in mind only if you really need it. Basically, if you're doing something in your app and it's taking a while, for example, like creating this image stuff, you should probably look into uh, ahead of time compilation. If not, you shouldn't look into it, but you should still watch until the end of this video, like, and subscribe. Um, so now let's go back into our application and what do you have to do to enable it? So it's very simple. Uh, the first thing you have to do though, is run the .NET workload install. This is just because they don't install it unless you really need it. And um, then we have to add this to our project. And it's important that we add it. They don't actually say in the documentation properly, but you have to add it under the property group where you have like the target framework. You have to do AOT compilation to true. And then that's it. That's all you have to do to run it. And then if you run the application locally, it's actually not going to do the ahead of time compilation because the build actually takes a lot of time. I don't know if it has the time. No, it doesn't. But like it takes like 15 minutes and I'll get into that for later. But so if you run it actually like developing, like it's still gonna be slow. So basically I'm just gonna go through what I did here. Um, so in here is just the regular Blazor WebAssembly app. The only thing is I added the button of click me to the index. And what I do to create something that it takes CPU intensive stuff, I create a big RSA key. Well, not really that big, but 4K RSA key. This is very hard for uh, the browser for some reason. So it takes a while. So if I actually just run it with Blazor where this would be being compiled and running and I click it, it's going to take like minutes. So I'm just going to click it and let's see if even at the end of the video, this finishes. So then what you have to do is publish it into somewhere. I used publish it to Azure. Actually, I'm publishing it from my machine on this case. I usually recommend doing GitHub action and actually publish it through GitHub if this is something going to production or something. But for my coding Flamingo stuff, I actually don't have a GitHub Enterprise account because I do this as a hobby and I'm not going to pay for my hobby. So I would actually run out of time since it takes like 15 minutes to run on my Ryzen uh, CPU. So to run it on GitHub, it would take forever and I would run out of GitHub action time. So I am deploying from my machine for this case. I actually just went ahead and deployed it before the video, but basically just published it into a web app. You select all the web app and stuff. I have a video on how to do that. So I'm just going to link that down below. And the result is this application. So we're just going to check in, still going, still creating the key. And in here, it's already on the Azure website. So you can see it's published. And I'm going to click it and it'll take a few seconds. So as you can see, it took around 15 seconds to generate but it's way faster than like the two minutes that it's still going on local and it's still creating the key on local. So in their demos, some things take up until 16 times faster. And I actually like have tested this in the past, um, the RSA uh, part of it. And it is around two, three minutes that it takes on the local. So it is a big uh, speed increase. It does make your uh, packages heavier. And it's kind of a shame that you can't use it on debugging, but it's because it takes too long to build and it would be a pain to wait 15 minutes every time you want to debug your app. So that is ahead of time compilation. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.